Lesson 5. The identity sine of theta equals cosine of 90 degrees minus theta. In the last two lessons, you learned the value for trig ratios of some very common angles. You may have noticed that some of these values are equivalent. For example, the sine of 30 degrees and the cosine of 60 degrees both equal one half. Similarly, the cosine of 30 degrees and the sine of 60 degrees both equal radical 3 over 2. This connection between these values makes sense because the 30 degree angle and the 60 degree angle are both found in the 30, 60, 90 triangle. When you change the value of theta from 30 degrees to 60 degrees, the opposite and adjacent legs are exchanged. This change causes the values of sine and cosine to be exchanged as well. This connection is expressed in the identity the sine of theta equals the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta. As you may remember, an identity is an equation that remains true for all values of a given variable. For example, the sine of 20 degrees equals the cosine of 70 degrees. Similarly, the sine of 89 degrees equals the cosine of 1 degree. This identity also explains why the sine and cosine of 45 degrees have the same numerical value which you already know to be radical 2 over 2.